The head of the Bank of England, Mark Carney, appears to have switched his stance on Brexit. Having been committed to staying in the EU and repeatedly warning the British public of the risks of leaving, he's now flip-flopped and admitted it does not pose the threat he once thought it might. That comes in the wake of recently revised positive growth forecasts. A vote to leave the European Union could have material economic effects on the exchange rate, on demand and on the economy's supply potential could lead to a materially lower path for growth and a notably higher path for inflation than in the central projections set out in today's monetary or inflation report. ...view of the committee, uh, but um, I think that the financial stability risks around that process are greater on the continent than they are for the UK. I'm RT's Anastasia Churkina has more on the story amid growing divisions among Britain's establishment in the wake of the vote to quit the EU. Here we are seeing the head of the Bank of England pulling quite a 180. If before the referendum it was doom and gloom predictions, then today, seven months after the vote actually took place, he's saying things are not so bad and that the financial threat or risks are actually something that Europe is going to be facing and not the UK, according to Carney. And uh, of course, uh, this is quite a major U-turn. But we have to keep in mind that he is certainly far from uh, the only big players here in the UK who were beating the drums of fear ahead of the referendum. The communique is very clear about the economic dangers and the economic risks. The brutal truth is that Brexit will be a loss for all of us. There will be no cakes on the table. Well, Brexit itself, of course, has not yet happened, just the vote itself. But so far, analysts are saying that among the predictions of the Bank of England, it seems that only the drop of the pound sterling has materialized. And we've been speaking to people here in London about what they make uh, in terms of uh, how life is going on after the vote. Uh, this is what they told us. Let's take a listen. Brexit has worked out well for now? I think so. for, for me as a business, it's a good. I think it's better, much better than last year. Pound and euro are around similar, so they can buy the same stuff. Since the pound went down, it, we had more uh, foreign customers, more uh, tourists. Definitely spend more money, yeah. Doesn't hurt the credit card quite so much. The dollar is stronger, so it makes it uh, easier to spend more here in London. The big opportunity for, for English wines is sales to the Far East and to the USA. And, uh, of course, while it's clear that ahead of the referendum, uh, the so-called uh, end-of-the-world apocalyptic predictions that people were saying would take place the day after the referendum have not yet materialized. But what's going to be interesting, of course, for everybody to watch now is how things are going to pan out once a new relationship between the UK and Europe actually does take a new tangible shape.